Romano, Sergei Feinblatt, and Esperanza King, and we will be presenting to you our market assessment of Russia and how and why we feel Walmart should enter the Russian market. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm going to talk about the company overview. Uh, on July 1962, Walmart was founded by Sam uh, Walton in Rogers, Arkansas. Uh, the company was incorporated in 1969 and was listed on the New York Exchange in 1972. By this time, the, the company had already expanded its chain across eight uh, different states, such as Tennessee, Oklahoma, Missouri, Texas, Kentucky, and so on. It was not until 1991 when, uh, when Walmart became an international company, expanding its first operation into Mexico. In May 2007, the chain included 7,343 stores, employed over 2 million associates worldwide, and was serving more than 170 million customers uh, a year. Okay, well, before Walmart enters any foreign market, they conduct in-depth market research in order to ensure profitability. Uh, there are three tactics uh, that Walmart uses in particular when entering a foreign market. These are building a partnership with local organizations and businesses, working with government officials, and targeting middle-class purchasing power. Uh, these three tactics have ensured Walmart to have a positive entry into foreign markets. Although Mar uh, Walmart has, uh, may, have, may operate differently in diverse countries, they share a common goal. Save people money so that they can live better. Uh, now I'm going to talk about the market entry failure. Uh, Walmart did fa uh, face some difficulties to adapt in some foreign markets. Especially in Germany, they were forced to move out. This was because they failed to satisfy the target market, which led to massive losses. This could have been avoided if, uh, the, if, more if they would have uh, had more investment in market research and also uh, would have done more consulting. In Mexico, uh, Walmart had difficulties managing their uh, HR sector. Uh, its employees went on strike because of the bad treatment by the managers, as well as the insufficient wages they, they received. In India, Walmart uh, underestimated the small uh, retail stores that were run by, by families, which uh, forced Walmart to relocate their stores in different areas. Okay, I will provide you a brief description of the Russian market. So basically, Russia is comprised of 13 territories and regions, 21 republics, and two federal cities. And as many of you know, Russia is one, like, the largest country in the world, and it has a very rich and diverse culture. So when venturing abroad, companies must take into consideration the cultural differences they will have to face, which is why we provided um, Hofstede's dimensions in comparing the U.S. culture and Russia's culture. And what's significant here, and what I'd like to point out to you, is a stark contrast between the emphasis Russia puts on the power distance and um, uncertainty avoidance. Politically, Russia has had an unstable history. With the Russian Constitution established in 1993, the federal government had majority of the powers, with local and regional authorities sharing joint responsibility on specific issues in key, um, key terms. Russia is also known to have a corrupt government officials, a weak in infrastructure, and constantly changing legislation. However, recently, Russia joined the World Trade Organization, adhering and adapting to international regulations and rules, making it much more easier for foreign corporations and foreign like multinational firms to enter the market. Russia has a well-educated labor force and a high literacy rate, close to 100%. With rapid changes in the economy, Russia recently faced a huge unemployment drop of 6.9%. And fluctuations in the economy also led to an increase in wages and salaries of the average consumer which gives us all the more reason to enter the market now, considering the more money consumers have to spend, the more money they'll be willing to spend. With a population of 140 million, Russia proves to be both a diverse and appealing market, not to mention it has the eighth strongest or eighth largest economy in the world, making it more attractive. Walmart opened an office in Moscow and recently joined the Retail Companies Association, adhering to the most recent consumer trends of Russia and um, in order to steer itself in the right direction. Our largest consumer target segment is the middle-aged business group, 
And although it seems unlikely that Walmart would campaign to the middle-aged business group, with our uh, conducted research and analysis, we felt that white-collar employees that live in major cities exhibit the most innovative consumer behavior. This consumer segment alone increased from 8 to 15 percent in the Russian market. Another favorable consumer segment is, are the single men and women of Russia. Those single men and women who impulsively indulge in goods and lean towards new and innovative products. Walmart feels that this segment would not be afraid to try out the new designs and the foreign brand label would not scare them away. If we take advantage of their inclination towards new designs, then we'll hopefully be able to reap, <coughs> reap as much benefit as we can out of this that segment. Thirdly and lastly, um, the last group consists of consumers heavily influenced by advertising. And although only 11% of the consumers in Russia consist of this segment, we feel that if our promotion mix and strategy can appeal to these customers, we will be able to eventually um, strengthen our brand image. Of course, Walmart uh, is facing challenges when entering the Russian market. And the first one is geographical size of the country. <coughs> Russia, as been said, Russia is the largest country in the world, which makes it difficult for our company to control all the stores and departments. Also, Russian society is more relation-based than contract-based, which makes for our company a crucially important <coughs> to find uh, a relationship with Russian society and gain trust. Also, uh, no, uh, most of uh, business practices right now in Russia are surrounded by corruption, but uh, considering uh, all the latest events, like Russia getting to WTO uh, organization, they're trying to fight corruption uh, as much as they can, and hopefully by the time Walmart expands, uh, fully expands into Russia, uh, there won't be corruption. Uh, also, there is a language barrier as, uh, in any other country where uh, um, Walmart expanded to. And uh, also, foreign and local competition. Uh, we have uh, um, local uh, players, uh, retail uh, players in the market, as a foreign as well. Uh, here are the three uh, biggest uh, retail companies in Russia, which are operating there for years. And the first one is X5 Retail Group. It's a domestic company, and right now it's the biggest player in the market. And uh, it specializes in uh, understanding computer uh, consumer behavior the best. The other company is Metro. It's uh, right now it's the fifth uh, largest retail company in uh, in the world. It's a German company, and it has been in the Russian market since 2004. It had the first mover advantage and was also the first uh, foreign company which uh, successfully expanded into Russia. Uh, another competitor is Magnet. It's a domestic company and it mostly specializes in selling groceries.